Month isn't just a celebration. It's a chance to honor LGBTQ plus leaders, those who fought back during the Stonewall Uprising 55 years ago. And those trailblazers who ever since have bravely come out to fight for their rights. Well, now many of those pioneers are elders who need a safe, affordable place to live. I visited one place here in New York City, the nation's largest LGBTQ friendly housing development for elders. And we learned the need for affordable communities like this is huge. Stretching 17 stories above Brooklyn, Stonewall House is like the end of the rainbow, a treasure for LGBTQ plus elders, including Howard Grossman and Bradford Smith, who've been a couple for more than 40 years. But Stonewall House has been a, a nice, comforting place for us to just finally settle down. We're basically, we're all in the same boat. You know, we're getting older, we're aging, we have our health issues. It's like a family, it's one big family. They moved here four years ago after entering a lottery. 2,000 signed up for just 145 apartments. You won the lottery to get into here. Do you feel like you just won the lottery in life? Definitely. Yeah, most right? definitely. The friends of ours that are, that are gay or, or, or in that case being seniors, they don't know where they're gonna go. A report finds nearly half of older same-sex couples applying for elder housing were subjected to discrimination. Stonewall House is a response to that, overseen by SAGE, a group that offers support for LGBTQ plus elders. Michael Adams is SAGE's CEO. Many older people who are LGBTQ do not feel welcome and accepted where they live. In fact, often SAGE's constituents will tell us that the place that they feel least safe and least welcome is where they live. And we're gonna take Stonewall on three. One, two, three, Stonewall! It's not just affordable housing. The community center at Stonewall House offers a wide range of programs, including painting. And this is mine as well. Barbara Abrams doesn't live here, but the 80-year-old does walk here five times a week, a mile each way, to be with fellow members of the LGBTQ plus community. It creates family for me that I do not have. These people mean everything to me. When I come in, I'm received. Uh, with love. And I just appreciate it so much. The place is named after the Stonewall Uprising in 1969. That's when police raided a popular gay bar called the Stonewall Inn and the community fought back. It was a turning point in the battle for LGBTQ plus rights. What Stonewall represented was you're not going to just shove, shut us up. You're not going to make us be quiet. You know, we want to be ourselves. So living in a place called Stonewall must have a lot of meaning then. Yes, yeah. very much so. Symbolic and proud. as a home proud. For Howard and Bradford, who married in 2014 and long worried about where they live together in retirement as an openly gay couple, Stonewall House is the answer. So this is home. This is home. Definitely for sure. Yes. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.